Well, that's new. Sounds good. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of time for people to show up. I suspect since there was no agenda filled out, this is going to be a really, really fast meeting. But, you know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. We'll give, so Mark, as far as I know, is on vacation. And Oleg is continued to be unavailable for the immediate future. So, yeah. Do you have anything you want to add to the agenda? Me? Yeah. No, not really. Just to, just to explain that I, I have a difficult relationship with my calendar, but uh, yes, I'm, uh, I made it this time. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. So we were, uh, we were saying we might want to reconsider time slots in September, but for the summer, we're just going to let whoever's available be available. Other than that, uh, I'm going to just keep booking, uh, I think. <laughs> well, I, I mean, until people show up, there's not much to discuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to, uh, I think, what's the, what's the release for this week? I think it's 306. Yeah. We are 308 this week. Which makes sense. It was two weeks since the last one. Um, do you have anything you want to discuss about election support? Have you talked to anyone? Yeah, I, I, I just sent an email to Oleg uh, asking for some information, basically for Oliver's email because uh, I don't have it. And I think it just fell into between other emails. So I don't have this, but if you have the, the mail, then that would be great. Yeah, so the, the email I just replied to from Oleg will have Olivia's email on it. Okay, and then fantastic, fantastic. Now he, just... he also, he's back right there, there he is, right there. Okay, so you, you dealt with the last election, is that right? Yes, I started, so are you talking about the election? The, yeah, we just kind of, I don't know. We're alibing it. Yeah. Because so I, I, I said uh, some weeks ago that maybe I, I can start doing something more than just showing up at meetings. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'd like, to, I'd like to help with the election. So uh, it has to be uh, so started I'm, I'm, uh, rather I'm, I'm, soon, I guess. And yeah, I was told there's a checklist or something that will help me to figure so, out. What because I may, I may have to drop because I have some family urgencies. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I started working on the election. I started to collecting all the links related to the election, like what the process is, uh, what we did one year ago, two years ago, and so on. And so I can share that with you. It's on the Jenkins Infra um, Academy. So let me find the link. Um, it's still a draft. So I, at, the, at, at the moment, I'm still trying to collect all the ideas. So it's not a final decision. And what I also try to identify is what's, what would be the, um, the timeline for the communication. Mm -hmm. I'm putting a link here. I hope that you can read um, the, the, the document. Um, I think the most important, the most interesting thing at the moment is more um, about the links um, at the bottom of the page, more than what I wrote at this stage, because it's just about a drop at the moment, but yeah, I would like to start the election process in the coming weeks. So we start nominating people and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I can read the document. So that's 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 going to be a good start. Um, I started working on that last Friday. I would like to uh -huh. run sometime this week. 
turn this off for one minute and then so i would like to find some time this week to continue working on this and um yeah i would like to to encourage other people to join but i'm not sure yeah but uh, so do you, do you think you you'd like to have a separate meeting that uh, that I would talk about that or i think it may be so the thing the way i the way i see it is we probably create a different meeting where we can just discuss about the election uh, mm -hmm. what we want to change compared to what we did last year um then we can validate the timeline so i think the timeline need to be validated in the mm -hmm. this governance meeting uh, probably in two weeks uh, so let let me just share my screen uh, so you can have a quick uh, view of what i'm talking about just just remember we are recording yeah i know i know, I know. that's why i'm selecting the right uh, that's why i want to say the right window to use yeah. my screen yeah so basically in the the process right now we have um oh, it's not it's moving a lot so we have we have to to collect um we have to identify who want to vote in the process so what we did one year was to share um a google form where people could just register and we we'll collect the email and then we send them the invitation uh, for the for the for the for the election two years ago we notify every email addresses that we have in the open WhatsApp database which is not something that i want to do again so um, that's the part that we have to identify if we want to change the process compared to last year and how we want to improve the second main idea was we used um, the Condorcet internet voting system to, to run the election. I think it worked correctly, and I, I'm not aware of a better tool at this time. So we probably will reuse it, but yeah, that's something that we have to, to identify. We then have the timeline, how we see the election. So typically the way it works is people are invited to nominate people for board um, as a board member or officer role. Uh, we close a nomination. We, we notify the different people um, who were nominated in the process. If they accept the nomination, then we ask them to provide a short description and what they want to do uh, for the coming year. And then we have to notify all the people like we have, we have candidates um, and we would like to invite people to vote for their best candidates. Um, so that's that's the main picture. So the timeline that I'm showing here is not the definite. I mean, it's not the final one. It's just um, I try to just pick up some random dates just to be sure that we have enough time between the moment we nominate people and um, we close the nomination and so on. So this is just a, a draft at this stage. Um, I was collecting the idea of which um, officer role we have. Uh, for instance, last year we identified that we were needed. Uh, we were needing. Uh, we we needed the the documentation officer. I guess that's something that we can discuss here or in uh, in another meeting if we want to have more officer, less officer, and so on. That's something that can change in the future. And uh, yeah, all the um, otherwise at the end of the document that I started here are just links to either meeting notes that we had in the past or um, what we did um, for the process. So I see at the bottom, you mentioned specifically announced on community Uh as I'm totally in favor of it. And I think it should go in the announcement section. Uh, but the first time we ever use that announcement section, everyone on there is going to be blasted with an email. So I suspect we want to make, we are sorry, I want to make sure that we're good the first time because people will unsubscribe after that. Yeah, exactly. So I definitely agree with you. And uh, uh, the to do again the to do is just a draft and yeah. that's, that's a good that's the, that's i, just, I was going to specifically I was, saying, I was going to specifically say we should do that but i just want to make sure that we you know we plan a little bit ahead because after that first announcement people will stop subscribing to announcements yeah exactly so the, the reason why i think it's the right time to start working on that is because if we want to have enough time between the moment we ask people to nominate uh, potential yeah. candidates and the moment we really start the election where people can vote for the election um, it usually takes several months. So um, yeah, it, between start, uh, September and December, that's, I mean. So the announcement will be that nominations are open and voting will happen on a certain date, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so so ideally, I would like to have some, some 
I was hoping to have something ready for, I mean, to announce uh, some, something for today, but I think we should target for the, in two weeks. So if Evelina, you want to participate in that, I would be really glad to, to organize yeah. a meeting with you. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so I've been filling out a bit of an agenda. So we'll go in reverse because we started with elections at the end. Mm -hmm. um, so hosting, uh, I don't know if you all saw Alex's email. Uh, he's looking for someone to take over officially for hosting because no one actually did before. Uh, I have volunteered to take it, but I'm going to do it in an re incredibly reduced state because I can't commit to the same level he was doing. Um, we're, so if we're looking for any other, if you know anyone who would like to get more involved, let us know. But if by the end of the week I haven't heard anything, I'll probably take over and just approve anything that isn't specifically should be not approved because I don't have the time to go code review and deep dive like he does. Yeah, I think, I mean, as long as, I mean, we don't have really have other alternative at this time. Yeah, so, eventually I want to move it to, as I said in the mail list, to the, the permissions repository and have it all automated because right now the hosting process is kind of, um, especially when you take over an old plugin, it's very annoying because you have to get approval in like four different places and meet people to do manually things. But I won't be doing that till the fall or next year anyways, so. Um, otherwise, news, the only news I can think of based on previous things is that Jenkins 3.8 was released. I linked in the meeting minutes the actual change log. Um, and the only other topic I had that I'm going to propose postpone until the next meeting is commercial support. I think it's very important to get us to have an actual up-to-date list of people who can provide commercial support to end users, but I think we want a little bit more discussion than other, other than just being like, yep, we're going to put it. And I don't think two and a half board members, three board members is the right people to talk Who's about. Who's half? <laughs> well, Olivier is an uh, officer, not a board member. Oh, I see. And, he's, and his kids are around. So I figure between the two, he's somewhere in the half mark. I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a half, yeah. <laughs> two and three quarters. How about that? We'll go yes, I, I, do, I do agree. We can, we can wait for a little bit more people to be present to discuss this. So, yeah. So unless there's any other things we should discuss or bring up, uh, you can chat about elections, but I think it'd be better to talk during time zones that work better for you and we can call it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then uh, Oliver, I'll, I'll, yes, I, I agree. We can, we can, we can uh, finish the meeting for now and I'll just uh, drop you a message uh, or uh, yeah, so we can start talking about when, when to actually uh, have the meeting between us and I'm not sure if anyone else is involved and then we'll see how much I can help. Okay. Good. That sounds good and I can send you an invite tomorrow and I'll communicate about that meeting on this on the this course so other people can join as well. Very good. Um, Very good. I'll try to. Okay. Is there anything else? Nope. 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 Okay. Well, let's call it officially at 12.13 for me. Yeah. Bye. Thank Have you. Good day, Kevin. Bye-bye.